Hello, hello, people. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Caroline? I fine, thank you, teacher. And you? Okay, very good. Here in the space. I'm in the moon. Okay, let's wait for... Oh, the link for the class is, ask, is somebody asking for the link. And if I have the link here. This is... Okay, let's get it started tonight. Um, what do we have here? Okay, hello Byron, are you there? Yes, teacher, I, I am, here I am. Okay, Reina, welcome, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Brian. Jonathan, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay. Gabriel, good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Hi, teacher. Hello, Edgardo and Hi. Joanna. Hi. Okay, we are about to start. Where did we finish last night? Hello. We did this. Oh, okay, we're going to practice this. Let me share the screen. Okay. We have these questions we used last night to practice, to talk. And I, I would like to, to practice a little bit with the whole class. Uh, let me start with Sandra. Sandra. Hola. What's your email address, Sandra? Oh, okay. Mm. My uh, address is mm -hmm. D mm -hmm. E 
A, Z, G, um, Pond, um, C, O, M. Uh -huh. eh, arroba, no sé cómo. At. At. Um, las cosas que se puedan comprender sin deletrear pueden uh -huh. decirse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm. For example, okay. my, my email address. Mm, my email. My email address, mm. yo le digo así, ¿verdad? es uh -huh. I Montoya. Uh -huh. 2000 at yahoo.com uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿No? uh -huh. es sí. y montoya 2000 at yahoo.com ok, good okay. Sandra, ask, ask one question a quien tú quieras escoge una pregunta y un compañero y hazle la pregunta okay. Diana. Hola. Hola. What's your Gmail address? Uh, my email address is, is <laughs> Diana at Alfaro ten uh, arroba, ¿cómo se dice? At. At. at uh, punto. Um, at that. That. Yes. At that. Come. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver, recuerden esto, ¿no? That. That. A ver, otra cosa que se usa mucho en los email es uh -huh. ah, esto. What? Esto, ¿eh? El guión bajo. Mm -hmm. How do you say guión bajo? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Alguien sabe? Underscore. No? Yes, underscore. Underscore. ¿No? So, ar arroba es at punto en este caso es that guión bajo underscore ok Diana pregúntale a alguien más cualquiera de estas preguntas um, quiero ver uh, eh, Gabriel Ramírez ok, okay. Um, what's your last name? My last name is Ramirez. Very good. Continue, Gabriel. Okay. Uh, Diana? Diana ya, ya participó. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Um, Isela? Okay. Isela. Hello. Okay, Gabriel, your question. Okay. My question is, when's your birthday? Good. My birthday is uh, in June. Sorry? Uh -huh. my, birthday, my birthday is 16 June. Ah, okay. You said my birthday is on. Remember this, please. Okay, my birthday is on. On. 
on luego the month and finally the day is correct okay yes my birthday june is 17th. on june, june 16th or 17th uh, no 16th 16th okay good okay isela continue Uh, Jonathan. Uh -huh. um, Hello. Where are you from? Repeat, please. Where are you from? Okay. Uh, I'm from San Miguel City. Okay, very good. Continue, Jonathan. Okay, um, Raya. Uh, Ryan, uh, where do you work? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Continue, Brian. Okay. What? Uh, no, Okay. My, okay, my last name is okay. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, very good. Well, we have to continue now with this topic. Yes, questions and short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. To mute your microphones for a moment. While you watch the video. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with B. Yes-no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no he's not or no he isn't. No they're not or no they aren't. Okay. Uh, now let me explain again this topic, okay? The 
Yes, no questions with verb B. Um, actually, I, I want you to practice with me. Okay, turn on your microphones, please. I want you to repeat after me, okay? Okay. Are you free? Okay. okay. Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I am not. Is David from Mexico? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Is Beth class in the morning? Is Beth in the morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? In the same class? In the same class? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Are you? Are your classes interesting? interesting? Yes, they are. Yes, yes they, they are. are. They are. No, they are not. No, they are not. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They aren't. Okay, very good. So, if you notice the structure for these questions is this. So we have first the subject, then, uh, I'm sorry, ver first the verb be, second the subject, and finally the complement and the question mark. What is the order or the structure for uh, yes, no questions with B? So we have the verb B, R is, is R according to the subject. The subject, you, David, Beth class, etc. And the complement, okay? Any question with this? No. No questions? No question. Okay. So you are good for an exercise. <coughs> so let me copy this and send it to WhatsApp. So I want you to practice with these exercises. This, this group. Okay, there you go. Now look at you have to the first the first section. Let's work on this first section. Okay. What do you have to do is to uh, complete the question here. 
Is she beautiful? Yes, she is. What about this? What is the form to complete this question? Are you a pupil? Are you a pupil? Okay. Are are you a pupil? The answer yes, is yes. I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Very good. In this, the second section, you have a model here. That is an old picture. That is a sentence. Then you have to make a question. Is that an old picture? Yes, it is. Okay. De acuerdo a la oración, ustedes tienen que armar la pregunta y responderla. And section three is you have to put the questions in the correct order. Okay? Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's go to the small groups to work on this. We are 15. Okay, we're going to have five groups with three students. So join the groups, complete the exercise, and then we'll come back to check your work. See you in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Join the groups, please, Sandra and Gio. Very good.
Sofía. Is this book? Is this? Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Is this book? Entonces, la respuesta sería yes, it is. ¿Verdad? Si lo hacemos positivo. Yes, Mami, aquí yes, está el pastel. Espérate que no oigo a las chicas. No, dale. Voy. Hola. 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 Yo casi no les oigo. Se oye cortado. Ahí viene ya el teacher. Opa, no. Y la cuatro sería. La cuatro sería skate. Sería cheese. Siguiendo el ejemplo de la primera. Vea. Ajá. Is. Ajá. Skate. Skate. ¿Qué es lo que dice? No entiendo esa palabra. Skate. Today. No le entiendo que, que son las tres, tres líneas que aparecen ahí. No, no, ajá, son como tres líneas, no entiendo. Skate. Eel. Eel. Ill. Ill is synonym of sick. You know what is sick? Ah, enfermo. Yes. Ah, ill. Ill today. Ill today, uh -huh. Ill. Mm -hmm. Ill today. La pregunta que teníamos nosotros es los paréntesis que están al final de la question. Uh -huh. Plus y el signo menos. Es de contestar en positivo y en el negativo. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. okay. Exactly. Hola. Eh, yo no entendí nada. Nada. La respuesta, la respuesta es... La vamos a hacer de acuerdo al último no, signo. Yo no sé si usted me oye. Yo no oigo, está cortado. Sandra, Sandra, sí le sí. escucho. Sí, pero yo no los oigo, los oigo cortados. Oh. A todos. Pues fíjese que a usted no, a las chicas. Se les cortaban. ¿Y ahora? Ok. ¿Ahora me escucha Sandra? Sí. sí. Ok. Sí. Vamos a regresar uh -huh. al grupo y vamos a, a, a revisar un poco el trabajo, ¿ok? Ok. Okay, let's switch. Let's check your work, okay? Or vamos a coger algunas, no todas porque son muchas. For example, uh, let's work on on this number number six. You sisters, no, we. Mm. What is the question here? What is the the form of B? Number six. Number six. Are your, are, you, are you sisters? Yes. Are you sisters? Are you sisters? No, we aren't. 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 Okay. Good. ¿Hubo algún problema aquí en esta sección? No. 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 Okay. No, no, no. Let's check section two, this section, okay? Okay. Um, what is the first question? The apples in the basket are sweet. What is the question? Are the apples? 
are the apples in the basket? In the basket. Sweet, sweet. Are the apples in the basket? Sweet. Sweet. Ahí teníamos un signo negativo que pudiera ser, era para representar que la respuesta debía uh, ser no. negativa, uh, pero... The, no teacher, uh -huh. uh, 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 we have a question in the group. Uh, okay. Is correct, uh, uh, do uh, make the question, are sweet the apples in the basket, or is this that correct? No, remember that the order is subject i mean okay. uh, b okay first b b uh -huh. second subject okay the subject is the apples okay, okay. and finally the complement I'm back okay thanks okay. thanks yes thanks teacher so are the apples in the basket sweet sweet Okay. The answer? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Sería. Are. Algo apretadito. No, they aren't. Okay. Algún problema en el resto aquí? No. No. Okay. Yo me sigo confundiendo en esa parte. Acá. Prácticamente, eh, observen ustedes que básicamente to form a question, lo único, lo, lo que hacemos es mover el, mover el verbo to be antes del sujeto. ¿Ve? O sea, lo que hicimos fue pasar el is para acá. Is Kate ill today? Y ahí va. Ok. En este caso, movimos el R. En el que hicimos. El R está aquí. Porque el sujeto es the apples in the basket. Todo eso es el sujeto, ¿verdad? De lo que estamos hablando. Por eso pasamos el R. No, esta no es la flechita. La flechita. Okay. El R lo pasamos para acá. ¿Ya? Ok, ok. O sea, lo que se hace es. Only the verb. Switch. Cambiar el verbo to be con el sujeto. Switch. Por eso esta quedaría. Si dice I am lazy, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Am I lazy? Am I lazy? Vamos a acá. Am I lazy? This is your parrot. Is this your parrot? Is this your parrot? Is this your parrot? Lo pasamos para acá. Ron is a clever boy. Is, is Ron a clever boy? Is Ron a clever boy? Okay. Okay. Bien. And here, aquí solo tenían que ordenar. Ahí ya tenían todo. La clave es, remember. Primero, to be. Are. Second, subject. Luego lo demás es prácticamente el complement. Entonces, en este caso sería... Are you at home? Now. Okay. Are you at home now? The next. next. Are these, are are these puppies this, cute? Are yes. These puppies cute? Are these puppies cute? Are these puppies Good. Are these puppies Cute. Next. Okay. Is, is Brian's father? Is Brian's father a pilot? Okay. Mm -hmm. Veamos. The next. 
A ver, number eight, ¿cómo quedaría? R and MX American. Yes. R and MX American. Ok. okay. Number yes, nine. Uh -huh. Is the English teacher new? Yes. Very good. Ok. Esto hay que practicarlo. Okay. Muy bien. Um, let's go. I think we have some exercise of this in the platform. Vamos. Vamos acá. Acá. Hagamos el ejercicio que tenemos acá. Ah, no, esto es bien personal. Ajá. Instructions. Answer these questions about yourself. Remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer. Mm -hmm. Are you from the United States? Bueno, aquí tenemos las opciones, ¿verdad? ¿eh? No, I'm not. No, I'm not from the United States. No. Eh. Mm. Es fácil. Yes. Eh. Bueno, pero, pero como son respuestas, dice sobre usted. About. Ok. Ok. Is your teacher from Canada? No, they are not. They are. No, 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 he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. no parezco canadiense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Eso es> lo... <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Gran care pipil. <laughs> Is your teacher from Canada? No, orgullosamente salvadoreño. No, he's so. not. How do you say orgullosamente? Uh, proudly. 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 Mm -hmm. Proudly. Proudly. Is your English class in the morning? No. No. No, no it's not. Class is in it's the not. Not. He, he, No, he's uh, not. Uh -huh. No, he isn't. It isn't, mm. podía ser, ¿verdad? Y aquí tienen varias opciones. Are you and your best friend the same age? Esto puede ser, yes, we are, or we aren't the same age. Bueno, aquí las respuestas pueden variar porque es algo personal. Ok. Then, we have a reading exercise. What time is it, by the way? Now yeah, we have eight minutes. Nine, fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's in a name is the reading. What's in a name? Okay. Um, do we have the audio? No, it's not an audio. So let's read it. It says, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Your name is very important. 
When you think of yourself, you probably think of your first name. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV, or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here, are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Boys' names, George is average and boring. Jacob, creative and friendly. Michael, good looking and athletic. Stanley, nerdy, and serious. Girls names, Betty, old fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Okay, let's move a little bit. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. People are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. Teacher? Yes? Uh, sorry, but I can see where do you are reading. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, it's the no. same problem. No, no. Uh, I, I sent uh, the image in the WhatsApp group. Hey. Me dijeron antes, hombre. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yo le estaba a dar F5 en la pantalla, dije, tal vez se trabó. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yo aquí bien emocionado leyendo. Y... <laughs> Yo decía, ¿y qué está, qué está viendo el teacher? <laughs> Yo pensé bueno, que era evidente. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Okay, also you have this in WhatsApp, I think, or, or maybe not. Bueno, se lo voy a poner ahí en el WhatsApp. Bueno, pero ahí lo tienen en la plataforma. Pero esto es para resolverlo en la plataforma. According to the reading, ¿verdad? What do you think? Your name is part of your identity? True or True. false? True. 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 People often feel the same way about a particular name. People often False. feel. False. False. Okay. False. False. Boys' names are more popular popular than girls' names. Paul? Paul. Paul. People are often named after family members. Este after no significa después, sino que este after significa como 
eh, debido a, a los nombres que hay en la familia. True. I believe that true. Be true. Mm -hmm. False. True or false? false. <laughs> de, decía la lectura de que la mayoría de nombres ah. eran por los artistas. Que, ah. que estaba, que, 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 que la gente le ponía los nombres a los niños. Y por el éxito que tenían, entonces que los niños querían que fueran también exitosos. Ah. Pero no sé, si quieren pongámosle. Oh, Eso okay, fue lo okay. que yo, yo oí, pues. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Por pues aquí dice, oh. Dice, many people are named after a family okay. member. Ok. Puede ser, puede ser. Probemos con true. Opinions about names can change. True or false? Hello. Hello. True or false? True. 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 Okay, let's check. Parcialmente correcto. Hay que volver a leer, muchachos. Bueno, pero aquí ya vieron que la mayoría, esto estaba mal, a ver. Ah, of the platform. Sí, esto está en la plataforma. Ok. okay. Es uh, el ejercicio, es el último de esta sección, de la unidad 1. 1.14. What are some popular names in El Salvador for boys? Julio. Carlos. José. José. <laughs> Aniceto. José. Aniceto. El Kevin. José. Kevin, Brian. Brian. Yeah, Brian. Sorry, Brian. Brian. <laughs> 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 and for girls? Uh, Rosa. 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 Yes? I'm so happy with my name. Yes, yes, I am. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, with this, we finish this section, section one. Please make sure you complete the exercises in the platform. platform. Okay, okay? okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Section okay. one must be finished. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay, All right. okay thank you. See you okay. on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Be careful. Okay, and good night. Don't drink too much. Okay, good night. Thank you. Thank you so good much, night. teacher. Good night. Good night, people. Take care. Take care, too.